Hello, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I'm Lucas and I'm here tonight with Anna and Christian. Hello. Good evening. Hey. Anna, you've got like a group of friends over there. I do. I have a little table full of people. Isn't that so, amazing? <laughs> there, there you go. All of the ramp guys on display. Pretty fancy. Yeah, so fancy, right? I only have one of each, unlike a lot of people who are buying like 50 million of them to build a big thing. Well, one thing with, um, what's what's the new guy's name? Cross guard, crossways. Double crosser. Double crosser, whatever, cross something. Um, I, I kind of feel like I need four so that I can make it into like a big, huge shield. Ah, I see. Big shield mode is pretty cool. I did it with three, because that's how many I have. And it was pretty convincing. If I had like four, or better yet, six, big huge shield mode would be pretty sweet. Yeah. Yeah, I think, uh, I think I'm going to have to do it. So I'll have to track down a fourth one here. So, um, somewhere... But yeah, now that those guys are all out, I, I don't think we're going to get any more, right? Like, these are pretty much the three... Well, I take that back. We're, we're getting, like, recolors in various Netflix packs and whatnot. Like, Optimus Prime comes with one, and I'm trying to think some of the other... Nemesis Prime comes with one as well. Yeah. The Red Snakey. Red Snake, yeah. And we've seen concept art for two more, for whatever that's worth. Like they're different molds, or mm -hmm. I feel like we're never gonna get those. Probably not, but hey, it exists. Because um, I, I don't exists. think Kingdom we're not even getting that price point anymore. They're just getting rid of it, right? Yep. Unless there's some shocking reveal that we haven't heard of till now. Yeah, there's no more yeah. Battle Master price point. Little a geysers or something. Which I think I'm okay with. I mean, I'm not really exactly sure what they would do next. Like, they did a fair amount of different target masters and whatnot. And, you know, these shield ramp guys. I mean, it's it's a fun play pattern. But, I mean, I, I don't know. They're already um, doing a big bag of bones for, <laughs> you know, various dudes in in Kingdom. It's like, what, what else? Are you going to do some more small bones? I don't know. I would expect to see a couple more battle masters in more exclusive packs. Just because we've got folks like Cup, Blur, and Cyclonus coming down the line, and their target masters haven't been done, so it feels like they would need to have those guys. I agree. I think that could definitely happen. Oh, that 100%. Would be fine. I mean, I think that, you know, like some of these exclusives, it's a good way to bump up the price, you know, like $10 or whatever, you know, throw a couple of recolors in and whatnot, so... You know. Yeah, for I sure. I honestly just, like, I have not been happy with the ramp guys. Like, now that I... Well, okay. So, I'm happy with one out of three ramp guys. I love Snakey. Snake is fantastic. It is fun. But I really like snakes. So, that is probably why I like the snake one. The other two, though, just, like, they are somehow less fun to play with than the Target Masters were. Like, they feel like they have even less articulation because it's so um, impeded by their giant backpacks, mm. shield packs. So it's kind of a bummer because I, I like the idea of Ramp Masters. It's funny, but they're just, they don't excite me like I thought they would. I thought I would love this one because it has two heads. But, you know, I, really I don't know. Heads? Like, I like Double Crasser. I think he's neat. I, like, I didn't like Sound Barrier. I thought that was kind of a lame figure in general. But, um, you know, I mean, the, the Snake one obviously is great. And uh, whatever his name I is. I actually like Sound Barrier the best out of the molds. Really? Well, there yeah. you go. I think he looks most like a dude. And I like that kind of symmetry. Okay. I don't know. I like Double Crosser just because it's kind of a weird thing, you know, that they did. Yeah. Um, so, like, that's kind of, like, the extent to it. I don't know. I mean, in general, though, I just, 
I'm not really digging. Like I didn't really dig the Target Masters all that much. Um, the I can't remember who's the Hammer guy. What's his name? Smashdown. Smashdown was cool. Like the Pterodactyl was cool. Like I mean, I think you know a few of them, but like the the gun ones just didn't seem to work as much for me, just because like they weren't that that well painted, and you know the articulation wasn't great and stuff like that. Like I. I like the old Takara ones better than definitely. Than those ones, so. The paint was problematic on those guys. Like they were just really under detailed, and these guys are not as under detailed. I will give you that. Like I feel like you know this guy has enough detail that his form you know pops out to you. You can easily see all the details you feel like you need. There's purple. There's gray. There's red. There's faces. Um, and even with you know, definitely my least favorite as well. Um, there's enough paint on this guy, right? Like, it would be cool if the arms and legs had a little bit of something, but they don't have to. A face and a chest is enough to get the details out there. It's fine, really. I do feel like the Target Masters definitely lacked any sort of paint or details. Yeah. And most of them. Are. A few of them were good. You know, a few of them had enough paint that they came out cool. But that was the exception, not the rule. But they were more fun to play with to me. Like, they just had a little more posability. They were less impeded by their giant shields. Um, I don't know. I, I just feel like, in general, that I liked, like, the Titans Returns um, guys, the, whatever you call those things, Tart, what was it, Titan Masters? Titan like, Masters. I, I, thought, I thought those were really cool. The like, Titan Masters the, were better. Like, those little... Yeah. Action Master style vehicles were just, mm -hmm. they were cooler toys to play with. Yes. And I thought that they worked well. Like, like I almost feel like they'd work well with uh, the, the, like, all the city modes and, you know, stuff like that that they were trying to do now. That, I mean, I guess the Micro Masters, you know, kind of work, but I don't know. Like, I, I really like those as, like, the concept and, and whatnot. So, kind of populate, um, you know, the various Titan class figures and whatnot, so. Yeah. I didn't like those very much, so it's, you know, I, it's good that we can uh, all all have different opinions on those, because I, you know, I like MicroMasters, you don't like really, you don't really like MicroMasters, I didn't like Titan Masters very much. So, I like MicroMasters, I just, um, I don't know, I just don't really like the execution of what they did with the MicroMasters now, like, it's fine. It's not horrible, you know, but it's probably some of my, like, least favorite, so. I have to be honest, like, these are some of my very favorite Transformers toys ever. The Action Master friends that came with them, and that's why I like the Titan Masters so much. Because right. they were basically the same idea of little vehicle things that could become guns, or animal friends that became guns, and vehicles and everything else. And I just thought that was a really fun play pattern. Um, I personally did not really like the Titan Masters themselves, the heads, the headmasters, because they, you know, aren't really fun figures by themselves, but I like the vehicles they came with. Yeah. So if I could have cool little dudes to play in them, it'd be better. But I still liked it better than these as far as individual toys. Now, it is cool seeing people who get creative with the ramps and things. Um... With the ramps and things, I think people get really creative and build some really neat stuff. So these guys are useful for their utility in their alt mode. I just don't think their bot modes, quote unquote, yeah. are really as fun. But hey, you know. I think in I like general, new. like I, so I mean they, do, they had so many weapons like with siege and whatnot that they, you know, the idea was is they're going to do a lot of shields. So then. They have these parts forming shields and whatever. Like, I don't know. I, I, I feel like that the idea is better than the execution. But, mm -hmm. it, I mean, it's not horrible, but. No, I don't have regret for owning one of each. And I still want five snakes so I can make Snake Voltron. So that's, you know, it's self that of life. Voltron. Snake Voltron is going to be amazing, Christian. Just you Good. wait. Snake Voltron? I'm going to get a blue snake, and a red snake, a yellow snake, a green snake. I'm going to put all five together. Whether the ones, it's going to be Snake Voltron. 
Wait, hold on. Where are we going to get those different colors? Because the red ones come in from the Siege Gnosis, right? I'm going to just have to buy a bunch of slither paints and throw them in pits of paint. That's my only oh, okay. choice. I didn't know if there's like a slither fan coming with something else that I missed. I wish. So. so yeah. I think Voltron is going to be amazing. You guys just wait. So. Wait forever, uh, probably. I don't know. I feel no. like Anna's like one of these functionists that is like, oh, these transformers that turn into things that you need, but they're not exciting. Oh, it's I like see what the, you're the saying. Little, the little guys. So, yeah, I don't know. You're... As the biggest target master collector of the group, I have to disagree. No, I'm saying the guy, the guys that are the roads and the shields is what I'm saying. Not the ones that get to be ah, weapons. Okay. Is, weapons that's what are I'm cool. saying. They're the cool ones. I get it. Right, right, right. I get it. Maybe, maybe it's true. Maybe I'm a functionist. That's terrible. So we um, decided tonight we would cover this duder, right? We'd cover this flat fade. Because we had a request. Because we had a request and we had the figure and I had basically forgotten this thing existed in my garage because <laughs> it was you know, slightly underwhelming compared to other things that have come out and my job and things like that. So it just kind of got left. But I thought, you know, when you say it's underwhelming, like, well. are you saying that all of those bases are underwhelming for you or just this specific one? This specific one was underwhelming because I was not excited for the figure inside of the box. When I looked at that robot mode, I thought, eh, I'm not really excited to play with that. However, I'm pretty excited by this flat thing. This actually cracks me up so much that I like it. I I it. Huh? I think I finally did it. Yes. Uh, oh, look at you. Mode. I think I finally got it to missile launcher mode. And someone's going to correct me, but I think I got it. That is a slightly more interesting alt mode. I think that that is... Wrong, yeah, right? I think that's it. I believe that's right. It's close. Yeah. I don't remember the feet being up here like this, but... I don't have the instructions with me to remember. I don't have a picture because you're in my phone and that's where I normally look at stuff. Sorry, Christian. That's okay. I should have prepared better. But <laughs> I think this is Missile Launcher. I think that's it's good enough. enough that I'll call it something. It's got wheels. It's got missiles. It's got treads and missiles. And... Yeah. Sure. It's yeah, so a thing. this thing, I think... It's probably the, like, I don't know, just imagining the marketing of we're going to sell people something that transforms into a flat thing with treads that is kind of a landing pad, sort of, and has a vague building madoodle on the back of it. I just think that's really bold and fantastic that this is literally this guy's alt mode is to turn into some land with a building. I mean, you say that, and then you're going to go, like, well, I guess you're not going to go, but someone would go to the store, you know, right before Christmas, and all they have is a bunch of airwaves, like, on the shelf. Like, all the good Transformers are gone, and, and someone's going to have to be like, all right, I get to have an airwave for Christmas. Woo! Very airwave Christmas. Yeah, I actually, I enjoy this, because it's just, Gosh, when when was I going to get a flat slab that my transformers were supposed to turn into? That this no, just wasn't the transformer laying down. Do you, do you guys know what he's supposed to be? Are you just saying he's flat because you're you're being you? He is like, flat. Okay, but like, do you know what he is? He's a landing strip, right? Yeah, he's the, he's the airport. Yeah. All right. I was gonna okay, say cool. the airport. I mean, the airport mode is which I have on the camera that Christian can't see is actually pretty neat looking, and it's yeah. different. It, like, it's a different configuration than the other one. The only thing I'd say in general about, like, all of these bases is they end up being very... Like, there's a lot of gray on all of these pads, you know? And so it's a little bit boring I, I because of that. I think that's intentional, though. I mean, so I'm sure... Like, together this is and they, they look, you know, homogenous. 
Sure. I don't know. It just looks kind of like a little boring is what I'm saying. I mean, I think it makes total sense for Airwave. And I think that his regular robot mode, like, you know, makes up for it or whatnot. But, like, it's, I don't know. Like, I just noticed that where it's like, oh, all of these guys are gray bases. So, oh, no. We're we're hating that. Peter's Peter's very upset that we're hating on him. We're not I don't hate on, on it at all. I, I honestly am excited that I have a flat thing. Like, this is real excitement, not just sarcastic Anna excitement. I'm cool with Flat Thane. I mean, I think in general with all of these things, it's kind of neat. Like, you can essentially make an Autobot city now with all the different stuff that we, are, you know, all the various repaints and whatnot. So, you can line up your, you know, Metroplex and Fort Max and, you know, all these guys in between and, and make a fun fun bases yeah, exactly and what like Catherine just said he's fantastic for parts and making fun things like this is literally if you take off this back part this can just be a strip of land you know for building your base and that cool. is that's a cool thing as far as you know from like a lego style perspective of being able to build your base or your area or your whatever that you're wanting to build. I think it's cool that we just have a flat strip of land to use. We will have, if you just buy one of each of these things, of course, we will have um, three of these by the, by the end of the line. Yeah, that's true. Yep. Yeah, so I actually think the, just like all the modulators, I think the alt modes are, you know, simultaneously underwhelming and that they are just, you know, bases and whatnot, but also fantastic because they are just bases. You know, if you can be excited by a base, this is fun. I think the only thing is, is like, again, the like MicroMasters are a little bit too big for them. Yeah. And so, you know, I don't know. That's slightly annoying. I like your idea of going back. I know you didn't really mean to propose this idea, but going back and getting your Titan Masters out and having them play on these guys instead. Like, I think they'd almost look more fun on them as little people. Instead of the larger vehicles. Them. Because I, I brought um, not quite Airwave the MicroMaster to go with Airwave the Modulator. And yeah, the scale is, of course, off. We've known that forever, but it's kind of egregious. Yeah. I know this is technically Airover. I know. But right now he's Airwave. And goes to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Skill and transformers, you know. What else would we talk about if we didn't have skill to complain about constantly? You're right. I'm gonna get back to the <laughs> robot mode because I don't remember how to do this quite. I think I got it close, but yeah, no, not quite there. Did you guys yeah, catch when you were assembling him that he has a reused part from Siege? I don't think I did, no. I don't think I was paying that much attention. Lucas? Uh, I'm trying to think. What what part is reused? This is Brunt. Oh! Is that the same as Brunt oh, exactly? Oh, that's what I thought, actually. Yeah. Oh, Brunt. <laughs> I thought it was Brunt. His uh, crotch and upper legs, if you're not watching us and you're just listening. Crotch and upper legs are from Brunt, which is fine. Whatever. They're meant yeah, to break apart and go back that. together, so whatever. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it... I think it would be hard to tell, you know, like, if you're not realizing it. Yeah. It's... Yeah, I'm not... It's not... It's more of, like, an Easter egg to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree with you, Christian. It's it's kind of Easter eggy. Oh, yeah. I, was, I couldn't find his other hand. Ha! <laughs> He doesn't have a second hand. But yeah, these these are definitely parts formers. Yeah, they're definitely something that you take apart and you mess with and you put them back together. I do I do kind of like your idea, like you were saying Legos, Anna, because I that's kind of right with these guys. Yeah, they they inspire creativity in the same way as Lego do. For the most I part. Don't... I mean, I think I in, in that respect, like, 
getting this versus a Lego set, like, actually, is probably more fun because you can, you might be able to do, like, if you did a $20 Lego set versus this, yeah. this might be more fun for 20 bucks just because, like, the Lego sets are pretty expensive. That's a good point. I don't mean this as a slight against Airwave, but he's going to take the brunt of it just because he's here. I don't like that we're only getting two of these molds. Granted, we're getting, I think, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six modulators by the you know, by the time it's all said and done. But for mm. weaponizers, we got you know, six gun, cog, brunt, and fast track. That's four molds. And then a couple repaints thereof. But uh, this one's only uh. two molds and a couple repaints. It's just odd. It's like they didn't really want to commit to the play pattern. Yeah. I kind of agree with you there. It's kind of like a reused parts of it. Right. Not, you know, not that reusing parts is bad, because it's not. It's just, I would have liked if they had done some different ones. Like, a ground shaker is the one I always come back to in the Voyager price point, or make, you know, make it deluxe. I don't care. That one is, you know, not a base, but it's a... Um, large vehicle for MicroMasters to use. I think that would have been cool to see. Well, in some ways, you can almost see it as a concession that these were kind of experimental and kind of dangerous. Like, you know, when people really want things to just transform into bases and cities and houses. I don't know. I mean, I think, again, nope. it's like kind of a fine line that Hasbro plays with these because I think... I don't know. I still feel like these are the ones that end up being the shelf warmers compared to the, um, you know, the main characters and whatnot. They're like, most kids don't care. Like, you know, most kids don't know what my, you know, these are. And, you know, they, they probably don't care. They probably would rather have the, like, main characters. So I think that that's the thing that's hard is, is when they're making it, like, how much of a market is there for... You know, for these ones. So, like, the people like us that, you know, will buy all these and the repaints and whatnot. But then, you know, it's somewhat limited. I don't know. Like, that's that's what my theory is. But, I mean, you're probably right. But I think they're targeting us more than ever. For sure. So right. why not do Ground Shaker or Sky Stalker or Sky Hopper? I mean, who wouldn't want a big old helicopter that turned into a base? Or a big old space plane that turned into a base and yeah all that sort of stuff well, these made sense they because the four small bases did turn into bases and weapon emplacements so they like they can do multiple things and that that makes sense um whereas the larger vehicles and bases only really turned into two things well when they revisit this in in five years or whatever christian then you can get those and i hope so right I really so do. keep you in the game right because if you <laughs> if you got all of the MicroMasters now, you'd be like, well, I'm done. My collection's complete. Whereas if they don't do them all, you're like, well, I, I got to keep going. So of the two, because now we, you know, we can compare Ironworks and we can compare Airwave. We knew we had grease paint and stuff. That's an Ironworks uh, redeco. Of the two molds, I think I like Ironworks more. Oh, yeah. I think he looks more like a dude. I think he looks more like someone that would actually be a robot. Where Airwave yep. to me looks kind of dronish. Yep. Yeah. And probably it's probably the squat head, and that's just yeah. the way he was made, and that's that's a good design choice, and that's just how it is. But Ironworks looks like oh, he's an actual dude, and also he's a base. Like that's cool. You can go talk to Ironworks, and also you know operate Ironworks. And then Airwave is like oh, it's a thing that also has a, a big robot mode. Right, yeah, I definitely get a battle mech vibe from this thing. Like, I feel like, you know, the idea of just popping down the head and letting it just be a battle mech comes yeah. very naturally to this design. And that's actually why when Christian and I talked about when he first opened this, which was like 15 years ago, and I just opened it today, um, he mentioned that the shoulders were, you know, similar to the reflector mold, where <laughs> they're not like, you know, actual shoulders, they're just a little bit too low. And he said that, you know, that was going to bother me, obviously. And it doesn't, because I think of this as a battle mech and not a humanoid. What? So, battle mechs always have strangely misplaced shoulders and legs, and it's totally fine. 
but humanoids <laughs> need to have their shoulders in the right spot. I think you just somehow weirdly logic yourself out of that. I logic I, I myself out of right. everything. You normally would hate that. I think that Anna just wanted to hate that reflector mold is is what it was. I wanted to love that reflector mold. Reflector was one of my favorite toys growing up. It was a robot that turned into a camera. It didn't have to kill anybody. It was cool. I'm still kind of shocked that you uh, haven't bought like a new eight or I'm sorry, not uh, the magic square version of that. Yeah, I just couldn't decide which one I wanted out of the two. And then mm -hmm. I started one per character, and, like, my brain started to, like, boil with one per character urges, and I just got confused and didn't buy them. That's what ended up happening. Gotcha. Yep, yep, just all came to a head. But, yeah, like, I like this thing for the reasons that I don't like this thing. <laughs> Like, it's just, you know, it is a battle mech looking guy. It does, as Christian said, feel like a drone more than a robot. And I actually like that. Like, I don't, I'm not excited about the fact that I pre-ordered the repaid. I, I'm, I'm actually wondering if I should arm pre-order it. Because I've been trying to get, well, I didn't pre-order the, um, the Skylinks impersonator team or whatever the hell it is. Skylinks um, impersonator? You mean the countdown impersonator? Yeah, but I mean, they, they dress up as Skylinks for Halloween to show them how cool they are. That's what the description says. It says it these does, are cosplayers it, who want to look like it, Skylinks. It does not say that, but okay. <laughs> I think that the, uh, the repaint of this, what was it called again? Hot House? Um, Hot House. Right. Uh, I the think that that's going to be... It. The colors look better. I would rather have that. It's the same way with both of those. Like, I feel like that the selects... Um, I like Grease Pit better than I do... Um, sorry, what was Christian again? Ironworks. Ironworks, yeah. Um, so, the yeah, these are just kind of drab. With Hot House, and that I have with Grease Pit, actually, is that we don't have their MicroMasters. Yeah. Hmm. Because we got we got um, airwave slash air over and uh, ironworks the truck with uh, the target pod last year, and it was like oh cool all these your base guys are coming and so the reason I keep going back to the ATV is that ground shaker is also in that pack, so it's like come on he's there you gave the other guys who had bases you know their bases and now ground shaker's alone. That's a bummer. I also really liked his character in the MicroMasters comic. And that comic came out at a very important time in my life development, so I'm a little bit attached. Peter will understand. <laughs> Most likely. So this Peter is. Peter always understands. I, I really think this is fun. I'm I'm excited to add it to my eventual pile because my plan is once all of these come out and I get one of all of them, I'm just going to take them all and take them apart and throw them in a bucket and build the most horrific monstrosity I possibly can. And it's going to be, like, one of the best days ever. And she's going to show it to me and Lucas and freak us out. And uh, that's what happens behind the scenes of microcasters. It is. It is. It is. Freak us out. And then the night when we talk, I'll actually have it out. And I'll show them what noises it makes. It'll be very horrific. Because yep, it will we've be done that before too. That'll be our 100th show special. <laughs> the horrific oh, yeah. noises. Yeah, yeah well, I don't even know what number we're on. Like, I mean, we should since count. we're not it's numbering like, the microcasters. It's like now. It it's real it close be. to now. It is yeah. real close to now. Well, modulator body horror is coming. Don't worry. I always Shame. deliver on my campaign promises. Yeah. Oh, and also cup body horror. That is also coming because cup oh, can wear these uh, arms. It's going to oh, be so geez. good. I wouldn't even buy that cup yeah. toy if he couldn't wear these parts. But since he can... So, yeah, since it's one per character, are you going to have to get rid of your fans' toys cup? Uh, I don't know yet. I don't know. Life is just so hard. I get so confused. <laughs> I would totally get rid of my fans' toys cup if I hadn't broken it. Because <laughs> uh, uh, it, was, it was pretty valuable, but... That's certainly a consideration. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, it's not like it's not broken to a place where you can see it because it's broken internally, but that could be actually more problematic, possibly. Just say that it's broken and it's fine. Just say it just still displays fine. Yeah, it does display fine. It probably transforms fine. But if you make the same mistake I did transforming it, it'll probably eventually explode. I just put too much pressure on a certain part inside of the shoulders. Good times. Anyway, yeah, yeah. about this guy, what I wanted to say is that I think this is going to be really fun for my body horror Lego bucket. However, as a robot, I find it very frustrating that every time I try to bend the knee, I end up pulling the leg out. Yeah. Yep. So posing to have is a little annoyed. I'm kind of curious if Cup is going to be that way. Yeah, that he's just going to pop apart all the time. Yeah. Because the more you play with these limbs, the looser they're going to get. So eventually this thing's just going to... Every well, time I try to play you with can that. just put future on those parts, though. That's true. That's true. I can just soak it in some crap. So, as far as recommendations go, unless you're like a crazy person like me or Peter or Lucas, like I don't think you need this to complete your collection. There are better repaints coming if you just want to have yeah. one of the mold. It's neat to play around with, especially, you know, all the modulators are, because like Anna said, you can Lego bucket them and make them into cool stuff or terrifying stuff if that's your, that's your prerogative. But uh, this one in particular, like Lucas mentioned, the gray makes it kind of boring. Like I mentioned, the drone-ish look makes it kind of, you know, not alive. So I don't, I don't think you need this particular one. Wait for Hot House or if you're getting, um, I guess, the pseudo countdown thing, wait for that. <laughs> This one feels like you don't really need it. I fixed it. There you go. Snakehead. Pe Peter says, uh, hashtag team crazy. This, I, Peter, I'm right there with you, buddy. You know I am. But this figure is you know, a little bit disappointing. It, I, w I wish it felt more alive. I do feel a little bit like a person. sometimes when we're on some of these shows, though, Christian, that, that this is kind of like a therapy session for all of us, you know? <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. So, especially, especially like with, now. especially with, like, when Nick's on the show and starts going on about having to buy things, and you're like, you don't have to, and, yeah, so anyway. I say it every time, oh, I say it every time to him. You guys can check the, check the record. Yeah, it's a live now, Wait, so Peter it's says he's buying now. countdown <laughs> number five for these it. guys. Does that mean the countdown, like, you're buying five of the countdowns, or you're just buying no, whatever what that? No, what Peter's talking about is he's talking about the various repaints of the rocket base that came out in Transformers and then in not Transformers after that. And uh -huh. I think he just bought four, and he's looking at getting the fifth one soon. Well, either that or he just mm -hmm. bought the fifth one. But there's, like, one that came out in Microman, and there's, like, another one that came out in Microman, and there's, like, another weird one that's yellow. Hey, there's you want to talk about another similarity with Brut? <laughs> in play with him, I blew up his head. Oh, Hannah. Yeah, How did he manage to break his head? There you go. It's not broken. It just came apart. It goes back together. <laughs> My my head has been fine. I I don't know. Well, I spun it around backwards so I could put the snake on it. You know, it's back together. It's not on the toy, but it's back together. I just had to find a way to put the snake on it. Hold on, I'm gonna make this better. I get it. I understand. Very important. Yeah, I feel like you just need to buy like ten of those snakes. The Slither Fangs. It's like I the do. best one out of all of them. I do really like that. And I wish that there was two of the red ones coming with... Which I guess technically I have two Siege Nemesis Primes coming, so... I thought you took care of that today. No, I didn't. I said that I... Yeah. There. Anna, you want, a, you want a Nemesis Prime? Uh, I want the snake from it. No, I was going to say, I want the snake from it, so that's why I was going to give you the rest of it. No! Give me that for Christmas. If I give you that for Christmas, minus the snake, how upset will you be? Uh, I would still accept it and say thank you. 
and that I go home and cry that I didn't have the red snake to make my snake bull trod. <laughs> I just recently shared that that was my life goal. <laughs> wow. You're right. So. so, yeah, I think this is a, a tentative, like, almost kind of sort of recommend. Like, having the mold will be fun for you, but you might want to wait for a repaint if you just want the prettiest one. Yeah. You probably don't need all three of them, probably, unless you are completionist. Or you want to make a big Lego bucket. So if you're any yes. of us, basically. Or yeah, you, you have nostalgia. This one actually but is really There's nothing good. wrong with it, though. Like, I, I, I think that he actually makes more modes than I feel like the other guys do. Like, it makes more functional yes. modes. Like, there's, it, you know, it makes the aircraft carrier thing. It makes the airport. It makes the missile launcher, like, and the guy or whatever. So there's more modes of this than there are to, like, Ironworks or whatever. Like, the ultimate modes for those are not that great. So I actually think if you're, like you know, in in comparison, like, you might get more play value out of this versus versus that. Um, but, you I know. I think a lot that, more of the, uh, the pieces that make up this figure are more able to be uh, repurposed than the Ironworks pieces are. Right. Right. It, so. It's more reconfigurable. But again, like, Christian, I think, like, when you're touching on, you're saying you wish you had more molds or whatever. Like, if we were getting more of these, because, like, you know they're going to have to release repaints and whatnot. Like, I feel like there would be even more fatigue than whatever the other one is. Like, that's where I think, you know, five, ten years from now, when they revisit this again, it'll be fun. And we'll be like, all right, it's exciting again, so. Yeah, probably. probably. So. But of, of the bunch, like, of the... The play pattern dudes, you know, the, uh, the weaponizers, the modulators, now the fossilizers that are on the way. I am most excited about fossilizers. Because those I look cool to me, and they break apart and form cool melee weapons. The fossilizers I, I, could cheat, though, by having traditional alt modes. Like, like their alt modes are normal. Dinosaur alt modes are normal. I guess that's true. Skeleton di you know, dinosaurs aren't, but yeah, okay. Right, but I mean, they are... And you're like, right, the, the weaponizers don't look like real vehicles. None of them the are. weaponizers' vehicle modes were not good. And that's the advantage these guys have, is they look more like they're supposed to, even though they're kind of vague buildings. Like, you have to use your imagination, which is healthy, you do it. But the fossilizers, like, they just look like, you know, dinosaur skeletons and robots. That's true. Yeah. Which I'm excited for. Like, I'm really pumped yeah, because those are, those you know, completely new things. And I'm all about the completely new things right. in Transformers. So. Yeah. Um, this guy. I was going to mention, um, really cool. Sweet. check us out on TFLP last night where we discussed whether or not Mainline is a replacement for Masterpiece. Um... So I felt like it was a little bit of uh, the other guys ganging up on me and being like, no, absolutely not. But, you know, hey, check it what out. What did you expect it, it to be? I know, right? Oh, it should so. have called me. I'll back you up on it. I know, exactly. Yeah, I masterpiece. Exactly, exactly. So, uh, but yeah, so that was a lot of fun, though. And uh, Peter was dropping some knowledge in the in the show talking about some of the history of third party of masterpiece and whatnot. So, um, so that's a lot of fun. Um, so check that out. I believe that there's going to be, uh, a, uh, oof my wallet, um, tomorrow night, I think. Um, so I think that they're trying to get cast, uh, to, to be on the show. So I'm going to uh, try really hard not to be there for once. You should, you should be on. Anyway, oh, but that means I might be dates. Um, and then uh, cut the tape on Friday, Saturdays. Uh, check that as well. Uh, book club Sunday night. Uh, they're doing RID uh, issues seven through nine. Um, so, and then they will discuss it on the Discord channel um, Sunday night at eight thirty Central. Yeah, we're getting days. lively these days. Help us get bigger. We're, so. we're like small and steady group right now, but the more of us there are, the more ridiculous things I'll say. So it'll be great. Yeah, there you go. 
So, um, all right. Well, thanks everyone in the chat, uh, Randall, uh, Peter, Catherine, and uh, thank you guys. And we will see you next week. Good night, everyone.